Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel, and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools, and tactics that can help you grow from where you are to an epic level of success. So, if you want to grow fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss. any updates anmol hi anmol hello sir what is the difference between working culture and workload in service based and product based companies see let first understand what is culture what what is culture see nowadays what what has happened is that companies are talking about culture previously we used to talk about culture in a religious sense okay we used to say Uh, okay, he's following the the Hindu way of life, or he's following the Jain uh, culture. He's following the uh, uh, um, uh, Christian culture or Muslim culture. So he comes from uh, he he comes from the Westernized culture. He comes from a more Indian culture, or he comes from a Chinese way of thinking. So we were talking about culture as. the people of a certain place and what were their beliefs and practices and all the other things maybe the festivals they followed and all the other things related to that okay now from there we have become lot global okay so everybody knows different things about different cultures so uh, we know we, uh, even after we are indian we know a lot about american culture because of the maybe the american movies okay uh maybe americans know a lot about indian culture because of uh watching youtube or which of because of uh watching bollywood movies maybe okay or or do or knowing people from here okay or people going from here to there they see they interact and they learn this now in the same manner when you talk about a culture within a company okay it is the kind of the belief okay it is one one is what are the values that this company is following okay and what happens is this values are always the, these values come after after a certain period of time so when you are a startup there are different values and as you grow you start understanding what are the kind of people who really are beneficial for the company okay so you will see really that people within tcs will be a certain type of people they will have a certain personality type whereas people who join infosys will have a totally different personality type okay and that actually defines the culture of that company then there is also the way of working of a company how do they work how do they roll how do they Uh, collaborate how do they communicate all these things define the culture of a company it's very difficult to say which company's culture is good or bad or ugly it's hardly you know some companies will have a toxic culture and you'll come to know as soon as you enter that company you'll come to know about that okay but if you really want to be successful in your career then i would suggest that you become like a person who can adjust to any culture wherever you go because during your tenure during your uh, complete life cycle or during your career which which spans 20 to 40 years you are going to change various companies you have to Uh, quickly get aligned with the culture of the company you have to quickly understand the way of working of the company you have to quickly understand what are the qualities that this company really value okay and some companies on their website clearly mention what are the qualities in a person that we value the most okay and you will see that similar qualities people will value but the companies will mention that okay so you be ready to get aligned and adopt to the culture whichever company you are going if you are like that if you are flexible then you will be successful anywhere you go okay now 
there is no difference between a service based company product based company that that has no meaning the meaning is one service based company's culture may be different from another service based company's culture and product based company's culture may be different from another product based company like facebook culture will be totally different from a google culture or microsoft culture okay and usually the ceos and the top management are the people who will actually work towards thinking about this culture okay they are the people who are going to brainstorm and they are going to say you know based on the, their success and failure what kind of people they like have in their company or what kind of values they want to follow and what kind of clients they want to work with some companies also define what clients they want to work with okay so that that culture it's very difficult to see unless you go to the website and decide and read the website and see what kind of culture they are mentioning okay and most of the companies will see honesty they should be open in communication uh, so there are some five six top qualities which are always there in every company okay everyone will want an honest person everyone will want a flexible person everyone will want an innovative person everyone will want a person uh, who uh, who is focused okay so every company will try to mention something out of this okay and usually there will be five six really uh, strong words they will use to define their culture okay and you have to really understand whether you can adopt to it or not when you go into the company you will understand the real culture okay so uh, as such as difference there the difference will be there in every company it's not a difference between a service based company and product based companies of course product based companies uh, one difference is that the service based companies as far as work is concerned it will be much easier than a product based company okay but it depends project to project what if in a service based company your client is a product based company what happens to that okay then you will have the same kind of a workload working culture is different than workload workload is the amount of work that you have to get done within an hour within a week within uh, a month that is your workload okay and that depends on project to project if you are if you have to do a release in 3 months and there are less number of engineers maybe your workload is very high maybe you have to work 12 hours 16 hours does not matter okay but if you really want to be successful in the software industry then don't worry too much about workload or not develop your passion for becoming a good software engineer such that your workload automatically starts reducing because you are a good software engineer what somebody can do in 10 days you can do it in one day okay if you are able to do that if that is by practice that will come by following good practices by learning exactly how software development works by uh, developing some good habits within your yourself that will help you to become good and once you are good does not matter what culture of company you are going into things will work out okay workload has nothing to do with culture a good culture may have the greatest workload like this video if you have not yet like this video share this video with other people make sure that you subscribe to this channel check my programs on a player the link is in the de description it is very useful if you want to get a better salary thank you very much see you in the next live